so this is twofold. One, I kind of want to, like, go through the industrial loft kit that was just leaked, announced, what have you. And two, I want to show you how I find my custom content that I use. So I've never been really into the industrial style, uh, but I, I've been around since Sims 3 days when there was lots of industrial styling. I have downloaded, installed, used industrial, uh, industrial styled CC in my, in my builds, in my worlds, because it's such a, a distinct style that's really, really versatile. Like, I love it. I love it especially for a lot of my futuristic builds, a lot of my futuristic sets that I use, that I play with. And so it didn't, it honestly didn't surprise me. I was actually uh, scrolling through Tumblr when I, this picture just popped up on my feed and it's like on my dashboard and it's like, oh, that's all right. It's okay. Someone's doing an industrial CC set. I mean, like, it looks fine. I see the metal. I see the wood. The wood's kind of interesting. There's not usually as much wood in the industrial. It's usually lots more metal, lots more kind of like wiry metal. But I, and so like I scrolled past this and thought nothing. It's like, oh, someone's just advertising their little CC set that they put together. It's like, okay, cool. And then I scrolled down further and it was a, uh, it was a link to one of these, um, one of these Sims community articles. And it's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's an actual Sims 4 game kit. Oh no. And then it suddenly clicked why I wasn't charmed by it. And I went back and looked at it and went, it looks Fisher Price. It looks like someone softened it. Someone like really just, I don't know if gentrifying it is the right word, but really just like took the cleanest, industrial look and from Pinterest and stuck it into this kit and now like when I go for industrial style sims cc I'm not looking for that sort of like clean look I'm looking for that look of like I am using what I have and I'm making it into something usable and so it's almost greasy and this doesn't have that feel that feels too clean too picturesque too i'm not even sure but just like this this bed it feels fisher price it feels oh gosh instagram you know do you know what i'm talking about do you are you getting the vibe that i'm trying to encapsulate also this stupid little plastic bin that you could get from ikea like, that's not industrial, that's kindergarten where I'm throwing all of my crayons in, you know? I mean, like, oh gosh. So I just kind of, like, wanted to go through this. This, though, I really hope that that's actually a thing in it, because that looks gritty. That looks good. This is a beautiful window, but, like, I always have a hard time fitting windows like these into my builds as much as I love them. And this is pretty, but it's hard. I don't know. Oh gosh, is this rug legit? Oh gosh. I think part of it too is everything is so matchy. Which is such a weird thing to say from a Sims point of view. Because Sims, the, especially Sims 4, has this problem of where their content, like, it matches within the set. But then you can't get it to match with anything else. Which is ridiculous. Please give me Sims 3 swatches back. Please give me a color wheel. Please give me more customization. I, I miss it. I miss it so bad. But I wanted to kind of, like, go through and see what else is going on here. Ooh, okay, this looks interesting right here. 
I love I love the gears, but it also feels so two dimensional. Like if I want gears, I want them to have the grit. This looks fun. This is fun. I'm intrigued by this. I wonder if that's wall art or if that is wallpaper. This feels so matchy matchy. It doesn't feel industrial. It feels Ikea. That is a beautiful French door. This is interesting. This, um, uh, this dresser, like that's a little bit more industrial. Again, that, oh gosh, that's such an ugly here. Oh, such an ugly rug. Oh my gosh. Okay, the bed in a different swatch. I hope that this, this comes because that's fun. Um, I don't know what to think about this couch. I'm kind of digging this, this piping. I like, I like the multi-layers on this. I like, I like this. Oh gosh, but still everything just feels like it's so much in a set. It's a set. It's so matchy matchy and it's not, uh, it doesn't feel industrial. It feels faux industrial, you know, it just feels oh gosh okay let's look review of new objects okay let's get exactly what they've got okay ugly rug i'm excited for these top for these for these pipes these air conditioning these ventilation systems oh there's that uh door i mean it's uh, i could see use for it i would normally be very excited for this but it feels so two-dimensional and then also it felt very um, disjointed. Like I would love some more uh, tubes, more pipes. The fun lighting, that's a good looking fan. I'm excited that that's here. Oh, that's interesting. I am excited for this wall piece. Oh, that's gonna be fun to play with. I'm like, that's okay. I feel like we've gotten this before. Like it's cute, but it's also, we've gotten it. We've gotten it before. And then the last of these, okay, that's beautiful. And then the furniture. I'm like, eh. gosh. Okay, so I'm like, there's some stuff. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not charmed by it at all. Uh, but going on to this, this just made me laugh. This article, again, from the Sims community, where it was leaked on Steam for a few hours. Uh, they were able to snag the kit from Steam and already jump in and play with it. This made me laugh and it made me feel so good about myself because it is such a human thing to have happen. Uh, so in my real life work, I am in charge of putting products in to our website and, uh, setting and scheduling the times that they're supposed to go live and so this this has happened before usually not days before and usually usually the issue that I run into is that so many people are on our website that they uh that the website crashes and then the scheduling gets missed and so, like, half of our release will go up, but then there's, like, two or three stragglers of where these products just don't pop up because it got missed, because our website overloaded. Um, so, but this just makes me feel better. It makes me feel so, it feels, it feels so human, and I love it so much. It's, because, like, this big company still makes these little mistakes. Ah, it's hilarious. Um... I did want to see what some of the other people were creating with this. Oh gosh, okay, this is actually really gorgeous. I love the coloring and it feels very genuine. This this photo looks like a Sims CC. This is beautifully framed. I'm I am excited to play with this. I really do love this open door. Like that's really really beautiful. I wonder if they have a closed door version. I'm not a fan of this couch. Does, 
what is where is this from is this this isn't from industrial loft i don't think is that attached to it gosh that's such a weird thing to put right there i mean it it fits it adds character wow whoever created this is a beautiful creator they did a gorgeous job Okay, let's let's actually see who created this. Uh, assistant producer to The Sims, Ash Fee. Ash Fee has shared some in-game building photos. So Ash Fee, like, this is gorgeous. I am super impressed. Because, like, it's so, like, just, just coming from here, it felt very Fisher-Price, very clean, pristine, bare bones. And then coming to this, where you sort of see it in style, in motion, like actual in play, in game. Like this, this makes it feel more real. It feels more usable. Like I, I, I really do love seeing what people create with this sort of thing. So I'm actually, okay, I'm, I'm actually tempted to actually get this now. Except, what would I build with it? What would I use it for? I wouldn't use any of this. Except for that doorway. That doorway is gorgeous. And the wall. The wall art. Um, I'm probably going to hold off on this one. But, but, that brings me to... How do I find custom content? Because, like I told you, guys... Custom... I've been into custom content since I was playing Sims 3. Got my first personal computer that I actually was able to play and download stuff on. And Sims 3, back in like 2012, 2013, I was downloading Sims 3 custom content, lots of industrial style, and I've just kept continued. So I kind of want to show you guys how I search for custom content. So, I mean, yeah, start, start at Google. Um, especially if you have a theme that you want to go off of. So let's try the Sims 4 custom content, uh, industrial. Because I know I have seen industrial custom content. So you're going to get lots of stuff. So the Sims resource, I... Uh, it's a hit or miss. It's great if you're looking for alpha, super detailed sort of stuff. Makes it feel super real, you know? Uh, which is fine, which is great. I, I know that people have some issues with, like, with how it's run or whatever. Um, I, I typically don't go there very often anymore just because I'm not into the super alpha realistic style. Um, and then you'll also find people's blogs. You'll find videos. I can't stand pinterest around the sims 3 i used to love them i haven't checked in on a long time but tumblr tumblr is where i live now this this feels industrial this is from 2019 and this feels like it could have been made for for uh for this kit to kind of like uh go with it that sort of thing uh, so I usually start here actually and then you see these nifty tags ts4 cc I just ta find it oh dude that's gorgeous now when I think industrial I think this oh gosh these are gorgeous wait are these the machino these are the machino windows yeah the machino windows okay so that's just sort of like where I start with also, before I get too far into anything, um, do not go looking for CC and downloading custom content without an ad block. Never, never ever do that. There's been, like, definitely go support your custom content creators, but uh, so many of them, and there's just been a huge history in the Sims community of like, yes, support them, but there have been histories of, like, link shorteners and ad, um, adfly links giving nasty viruses. 
So please always, always use an ad block. Like just don't, it's like, oh, I'm going to go get some CC. First thing you're downloading is an ad block. Don't, just don't, don't go wandering through here without, without it. And the fun thing, ooh, okay, this, this feels a little bit more industrial. Like I, I could see this, this couch in an industrial um, pack. It's actually super tempting. So, um, trying to decide, do I want to grab it? Um, oh no, not at this point. Oh, they've got stuff packs. So yeah, so that's usually how I start going through and start looking for custom content is that I check out, I find someone, I find someone I like, and then I wander through their tags. Like tagging is amazing, beautiful. Tag your stuff. Oh, dude, I'm impressed. Check out that fan. Yeah. Dude. Dude, this person has beautiful custom content. Very beautiful. Definitely someone. I'm gonna follow them. See what they see what they make. One other uh, tip on uh, finding and searching custom content that I want to share are collaborations. So the Sims uh, custom content community is very tight knit. Someone always knows someone always knows someone and they collaborate. I have found so many gorgeous pieces uh, just from finding those collaborations and then following those creators and then following the creators that they work with following uh, what they all do. And so I wanted to share the Plum Bob Tea Society on Tumblr really quick. I, I guess they're on hiatus right now, but I still follow so many of these lovely simmers. I love Nolan Sims, Detron Sims. Uh, like these are lovely simmers. And so there's already you have to scroll to see all of these, but then their uh, collaborations are amazing, like Rustic Romance stuff. Cottage Garden stuff from 2017 is gorgeous. It is a must-have. Stellar stuff is also, I feel like it's a must-have. I use so much from Stellar stuff all the time, and the birthday packs are so lovely. You just get such a variety and you get this variety of styles as well and especially with collaboration you get a really big variety of different um items like this one is um build and buy uh this is walls you've got tile backsplash that's gorgeous stuff it's in a very different style than anything we have Oh, these, and these are like gorgeous decorations, and they're so unique. And then you've got your, your Sims, your, uh, create a Sim stuff, like this and this. You've got your decorations, and you get these gorgeous, unique, um, unique content that is easy to download and install on your in your game and already like finding your custom content that you want is really just kind of like you're browsing you find someone that vibes with your with your simming style and you go for it you just go and you play with it and then also a lot of these simmers all of these, a lot of these custom content makers are wonderful. They will have frequently asked questions. They have CC, where can I find? They have their own finds. They have their legacies asks, terms of use. Uh, and it's just easy to sort of like just scroll through and look and shop. It feels like shopping. It feels like putting together what you want in your world. I 
I just really love custom content for the world that opens up, what people are able to make, what they're able to create, and just what a little searching, what a little clicking does. You just go on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and you find what you want, you find people that you like their style, and you, you go with it. Because that's what custom content is about, because people are making so many things and so many styles all you have to do is start exploring it's exploring is part of the fun finding those pieces is part of the fun um and if you are having trouble you can always go find the where can i find and they are wonderful many many content creators have where can i find and you'll be able to track down what you're looking for And I just wanted to thank you guys for listening and for kind of like following my thought process on how to find content, on how, (laughs) and I guess really also like that whole, the whole industrial loft, like I saw that and went, I have seen so many industrial sets that look so much better than this. I will go find them. And w- and then I went, wait, somebody doesn't know how to find this. And so I, I hope, I hope you picked up some tips and tricks. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you guys find some industrial CC that you really like. Or find some CC you just like and that you fell in love with and now you can't, ha- can't play The Sims without it. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day because y'all are awesome. Bye now.